Welcome back to Sunless Sea. There are many, many things I can do from here, but what I want to focus on at the moment is delivering the Anacreous Outcast to the Salt Lions. And to do that, I need Salt's attention, which means I need to go to Wither to get that. And to get that, I need Z stories, of which I have one. So hopefully one Z story will give me enough Salt's attention that I can actually do the thing at the Salt Lions. I'm hoping. And just to be certain of that, I think I'll go to here and get another Z story so I can perhaps get Salt's attention two times at Wither. So, let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, that's all I'm going to worry about for the moment, because I'm just going to come straight back to London after I've gotten Salt's attention. So let me just buy enough supplies for that, and then I will reassess where I'm at after that. Bit of fuel, bit of supplies. Okay, and we're good. And I did read the papers, right? Mm hmm. Oh my god, my terror is zero. How often does that happen? That's amazing. Okay, so now I have two Z stories. Should be plenty, I would hope. So, let's go up to Wither. Take a stop at Venderbyte for a port report. And I suppose I might as well explore the town. Let's explore. Once again, it's the Raggedy Fellow. This is like the third or fourth time I've seen him, and I still don't have room. I could pay him, but again, that's really, really expensive, so I'm sorry. No room. Wait a minute, you can sell Foxfire Candles for 33? Don't they only cost 30 at London? Could you actually make a profit just going in between the two places? Hold on, let me check. Oh wait, no, I don't have anything listed for London itself. I never write that down. Uh, do I have any in my hold? No. I thought there were 30 at London. Hmm, maybe they're 40. I'm not sure. Yeah, so I suspected that you can use the number keys to shoot the guns, and you can. Which is a lot better than clicking on them individually, individually like I've done in the past. 
Ooh, there's some more. Give me all the supplies. Hmm, that didn't get their attention. There's 40 echo worth of supplies. Nice. Oh, there's that thing. Should have a hard time seeing me with my lights off. Kind of close to me. Okay, there we go. And Codex is right here, so I suppose I'll just stop by there for a port report. Port report. Nothing else to do. Okay, let's get Salt's attention. Well, port report first, I suppose. Now, how do I do this? House of Questions? Yes, gain Salt's attention. Costs secret, a little bit of echo, Z-story. I probably only need to do this once. No echo. Your words sink into the silence like stones into quicksand. The initiate listens, eyes closed, committing every detail to memory. Leave now. If you see where I write your story, it's the worst kind of luck. It's watching you if it even exists. Okay, so is that enough, or do I need to do it... Again. Oh wait, I can't even do it again, can I? I can't. Okay, so you can only do it once. Alright, let's explore the town. Ah, once again, an intriguing smell. Before I try the shredded jellyfish, this time let's just have the grilled troglodyte bronze. Lost two terror, one fragment. Yeah, nothing big, but it's something. I believe that's it. Mm hmm. Okay, now back to London and then reassess my supplies and fuel. And the reason I wanted to do that be is because if I go out to the salt lines, I think there's other stuff I want to do out there anyway. Because the Salt Lions, I mean, they're pretty close to Fallen London, but they're also pretty close to Con Shadow and Godfall. So I think if I'm going to head out to the Salt Lions, I probably want to take, like, casks of mushroom wine for Godfall. Um, I'm not sure what else, but yeah, I think there's a bunch of stuff I'm going to want to do. Oh god. I wonder if that thing even attacks you. Like, maybe it's not violent. I mean, it's just a freaking lifeberg. It's it's busy being a berg. Ain't got no time to kill me. It's a busy job.
I really want to go back to Zyra, the Lady of the Cages. Since I did do that uh, very illegal red honey shipment, I really want to follow up that questline because I feel like it's going to be very lucrative. You know what? The horn actually did work. See the question mark that popped up? That means they're coming for me. Even the crab heard. Which may not be a good thing. Turn! Ooh, perfect. My hunger is 48. Pretty much as high as it could be. That is essentially the equivalent of one supply. I feel like killing enemies is not very effective at reducing your terror if your terror is already low. Because I know sometimes I've seen my terror go down by, like, 15 just by killing one enemy. But if that happened at this level, when I'm this low, then I would think that my terror would be basically zero at this point, but it's still... still around, like, 7 and 8. search me again. Uh, thankfully, my box full of angry dream snakes is apparently not illegal, although a box of sunlight-filled mirror Getch box is. So, yeah. Do your worst. <laughs> Didn't find anything, of course. Do that. Let's read the papers. Gain supplies. And recent news. Nice. Couple port reports to turn in. Oh yes, let's carouse at the Wolfstack docks to meet my lover. I was fortunate. Last five there. Likely last. Let's see. Yeah, it keeps doing the same thing as before. A few hours together, lose some terror. Nothing else has happened yet. But again, I'm pretty sure something else will happen at some point. Let's see if anybody wants to jump aboard. See, before I was thinking there's no point in hiring more officers because I already have all the officers that I need. But since you can just put the officers as, like, just available officers and you don't have to use them, I guess you might as well hire them, right? Just for their storylines, if nothing else. So I think I'm actually going to do that. Like, I mean, how expensive? Like, 50 Echo? I mean, that's not much. You know, I don't know what her stats are, but yeah, let's take her. Um, uh, Presbyterate Adventurist. I think... In my last life, I had her before, didn't I? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. So let's just compare. Iron 6, Iron 8, Veils 3, Veils none. Okay. Well, in raw stat points, she is better. Because she gives me 9 stat points, she only gives me 8. So less iron, more Veils. What are my Veils right now? 35? That's pretty terrible. Let's see what it does to my damage. 1824. So let's just look at the minimum. 1826, 1826, 1826, 1826, 1826. Okay, so that went down by one damage. Not a big deal, but it's something. And I gain 
three veils for that? Eh. I think I'm going to go with him. I feel like my veils are so low that it's like, who, who even cares? With an increase of three. Yeah. But I can speak with her. Oh, she takes a sack of dark chop coffee beans, which I actually happen to have one. Let's do it. Dine with me. A pleasant evening. Yes, I was in the Navy. Did you think I'd stolen the uniform? I retired before they threw me out. She grins and spoons more sherbet on her plate. I'm older than I look. We're all older than we look, to you people. Gain a Z story. I am now her acquaintance. Alright, can I speak to you again? Invite her to dine with you again. <laughs> I've got an idea, she says. Sherbet and arm wrestling. 43% chance. Hmm. Another sack of dark drop coffee beans. How much coffee does she drink that she takes an entire sack of beans? Aren't those sacks like 20 pounds or something? I mean, damn. I think her heart would explode from the caffeine. Jesus Christ. Alright, so need more dark drop coffee beans. Gotcha. And they don't sell them here, right? I think they just buy them. Oh no, they do sell them. Okay. Let's do it. And failed. You're strong, but she's stronger. She grins. I'll be old soon, but not yet. You spend a pleasant evening, reminiscing and swapping tales. You learn a little about the Elder Continent. It's sleeping forests, speaking tigers, mountain pilgrims. The Elder Continent, the place with the fungal jungle speaking tigers and burning souls, apparently. So I'm assuming I need to actually succeed, right? Oh no, apparently you don't have to succeed to kind of further the relationship. Invite her to dine with you a third time. One day I'll be tired of coffee, sher Sherbet. She smiles. Not today. Let's do it again. I always forget where it is. Uh, you? No. You? No. Here it is. My, my strategy for finding items is pretty much just click on everything. Where is it? Where is it? Good strategy. Seems to work. Here we go. I think we're making progress. A troubled evening. She's obviously distracted. Halfway through her dessert, she loses the thread of the conversation. Snaps her spoon in half. Apologizes. Flings the spoon across the room. Apologizes again and pushes the rest of the sherbet away. Sorry, she growls. I can't concentrate. You know why? I'm getting old. My bloody father. You know what the College of Mortality is? Our very own elected hell. They choose our king. They tell us when to die. He cheated them. So now I'm getting old. She drains her glass. Old. Too old. I'll see you in the morning. She rises to her feet with uncharacteristic clumsiness and stumbles out. But not before you've seen the tears in her eyes. She's talking about things that I do not understand at all. The College of Mortality? They choose our king, they tell us when to die, he cheated them, so now I'm getting old? Wait, what's the connection between her father cheating them and her getting old? Did they put a curse on his entire family because of what he did? Whoa. A boarding action. A sudden boil of bodies at the rail. While your sailors were, s were sighing over the sights of London, armed foreigners were slipping up the side of the ship. They wear tight-fitting dark uniforms and carry complicated multiplicities of blades. The pres... The presbyterate adventurous curses apologetically. Out of time, she says. What the fuck? They're 
coming for her? Oh my god. What have I done? <laughs> Fight to preserve her or give her up? Assassins from the college. Yes, they're here for me. No, I didn't mention it. Yes, you're right to be cross. If you want to give me up, that's fair. She offers you her pistol. I'd listen to her, one of the assassin adds, in perfect English. This is a sacred duty. We'll pay you a sacred price. Fight Preserver. What's a gang of unexpected assassins between friends? Have at them! 40% chance of success? It ain't good, but I'm not giving her up. Did I fail? I failed. Blood on the deck. The assassins fight fiercely and in near silence. Your crew makes up for it with yells and shots, and the adventurous outdoes them all with the whoops of fierce delight. At last you drive the assassins back over the side. They take to their coracles and wisp into the night, while you check your wounded and your dead. All right, the adventurous says, lowering her blade. All right. Oh, and thanks, she adds, almost as an afterthought. A sailor glowers at her from over the body of his comrade. Gained iron. Nice. You've helped her survive an attack by her assassins. I did fail, so I lost four crew. Damn. Okay. Well, hold on for a second. Let me get some more crew. Straightforward challenge. 100% chance of success. 30 echo. Come on. Come aboard. Three. Alright, so I could use one more. Um, do I do it again? 30 Echo for one more? Yeah, whatever. New total 17? No, my, my total is not 17. It's 15. Relatively expensive just for one crew, but I really... I mean, you've seen what happens when your crew becomes, <laughs> becomes very low. It's not good, so I'm not even going to risk it. In the grand scheme of things, 30 Echo is nothing. That's like one and a half supply. Okay. I think we need to talk. Ask the adventuress why you've been ambushed by assassins from her homeland. I, uh, owe you an explanation, don't I? What I'm about to tell you is a deep secret. A college secret. But people have died. I owe you an explanation. None shall live a thousand years. In the Presbyterate, in the south, we are close to the mountain and far from the sun. So we could live forever, were that permitted. It isn't. The law is, none shall live a thousand years. My father made it to a thousand and eleven. She grins with shame-faced pride. Good for him. Bad for his children. The law for me is, thou shalt not live a hundred years. I'm out of time. That's why I left the Navy. The college will get to me. They always do in the end. And I can't keep letting other people die for me. She stands to go. Will you help me find a way to die well? In battle would do. Or a duel. I don't want to be, oh, you know, just shot by a pirate. Eaten by a shark. I want people to talk after I'm gone. She offers you her hand. I'm sorry. What a strange place. I... That is so fascinating. They could live forever if it was allowed. How is that even possible? And, uh, yeah, she definitely is older than she looks. She is apparently over a hundred years old. She looks like... 35. Gained a secret and a page. Help her die properly. Where would I do that? Any suggestions? No? So I guess I'll maybe at one point come across a place and there'll be an option there where she can die honorably. Hmm. Okay. Alright, so now I want to go to the salt lines, and I want to do a bunch of stuff along the way, or, well, probably not along the way, but right after. Depending on where the quest itself takes me. 
Because I suspect just simply going to the Salt Lines itself is not going to be the end of that quest. But um, I'm going to think about what I want to do and what kind of stuff I want to take with me, and I'll be right back. Okay, so here is my current plan. I've completely filled up my hole 100% with fuel, supplies, six Foxfire candles, and of course I still have my mirror catch box full of very angry dream snakes. So fuel and supplies are obviously just simply for traveling. The Foxfire candles are for Godfall, because there's an event there where if you have five Foxfire candles you can use it to explore something? I don't remember what. But if it takes five Foxfire candles, there's probably going to be something good that comes out of it. And you only need five, but I'm taking six because I keep seeing story events pop up out there that require, like, one Foxfire candle. So I'm just going to carry around an extra. Just in case. I would take mushroom wine and stuff like that, but I don't really have the hold space to do that. And what I'm going to do is go straight to the Salt Lions first to see what happens with this quest. And then after that, I'm going to go down to the Isle of Cats. Because I really want to follow up on the honey thing. And then after that, I'll probably go up to Con Shadow to sell my box of Dream Snakes, which I can sell for 500 Echo there. And then hit up Godfall, and we'll see what happens after that. trying to think, should I trade in my recent news for a Z story? Uh, hello? <laughs> Interesting looking person, looks like they've just been blown up or something. Between the hair and the smudges on their face. Um, an unexpected letter. Who sent it, and what does it say? Re oh. Something did happen with my sweetheart. Re return to London as soon as you may, your sweetheart says. You are a father. God damn it, did I not... Did I not use a condom? Do condoms even exist? Um, choose this option if you're unlikely to be either a father or mother. I have no idea. It looks like I get to kind of choose what I want to have happen, though. If you sire the child, if you're unlikely to be either a father or mother, choose this option if you're giving birth to a child. Hmm. Yeah, so I, I basically get to choose what it says. Interesting. Um. I'm not ready to settle down yet, so I don't feel like I would be likely to have a father or... <laughs> likely to have a father. How do you, how do you have a father? <laughs> like, just birth a father into existence. Let me try that again. I feel like I'm like unlikely to be a father. To have a child, so I'm going to go with that. A surprise for you on your next return to London. I have taken in a foundling. What are they thinking? Is this some scheme of theirs, or honest affection? You have a child. Return to London to look after them. And they may become a scion, allowing you to take two legacies. Hmm. Born, sired, or adopted, they're yours. Um, I mean, I am right here. I could just turn around, but nah. I'm a man of the Z. Don't worry. I'll talk to my kid every two months, maybe. So yeah, I'm not going to stop for Z-Story, because I actually still have one Z-Story left. And recent news itself can actually be pretty valuable. Because occasionally it's like your only way into a place. Such as Adam's Way, for example. Or at least one of your only ways. I think Adam's Way has another way you can get in. Ooh, combat. Come on. 
Okay, whatever. Doesn't want to turn around. Not gonna go chasing a jellyfish throughout the Z. Report, report. Do I want to use up my something awaits me in port? It's probably not gonna return by the time I get to the salt lines, but I don't think that matters. Yeah. I'll use it up here. Let's explore the island. Hope I don't get attacked by a puma or whatever. That ain't a puma. Rat Corsairs. Ah, the gully. The ambusher's favorite terrain feature. It looked like such a short and easy way, but now a sudden flood of black and white fur confronts you. A starving torrent of Rattus Faber Corsairs. And their chief addresses you in a piping, unhuman voice. Easy there, me giants. We're in dire need here. Let us help, and we'll pay well for it. No need to fight. But you notice his rat hand is on the hilt of his rat cutlass. Wretched Mog. Oh, you can unleash a cat upon the rats? If you had it? That would be so awesome. Ah, oh, if only I had a Wretched Mog. Maybe I should get a Wretched Mog. I forgot how you get that, but I know I've seen it before. Hmm. Rat Bites Fester, you might lose crew. You want three of my supplies? That's 60 Echo worth of supplies. No. Succeeded. Davids and Goliaths. <laughs> Ratwork rifles roar. Zaylers stamp. The gully is filled with screeching and salty odes. At last you stand triumphant, and the rats are fled or dead. You draw a string of drowning pearls from the waistcoat of the rat captain. His eyes are already filming with death, but he hisses savagely. To the seven cats with you. Poor Tillman has been bitten almost to the bone. The wound is filthy. You clean it as best you can, but he won't last a week. No, Tillman! Who's Tillman? I'm sorry, Tillman. I'll tell your family. I don't know your family. Five drowning pearls. Ooh. Just need, like, 20 more to get access to the Canate trade. That or dark drop coffee beans. But I'd prefer pearls. Because they don't take up any hold space. No, it hit me, you bastard. Scoop it up. One supply. Those things are annoying as hell. Oh wait, am I in the bottom one? Oh crap, I'm on the bottom one. Whoops. Going the wrong way. The bottom lion. Okay, let's see if we can help out the Nacreus. Nacreus, what's your name? Nacreous Outcast. Alright. Oh, here we go, alright. Unexpected Grace. The face of the Northern Sphinx is all but gone. 
but the nacreous outcast scrambles doggedly up. It pauses at the top, and then flips into the air, an arc as precise as a compass line, down into the darkness of the Z. It's gone with barely a splash. You wait. There's no reason for alarm. It can probably breathe water. You wait longer. There is a certain degree of decorous alarm. Longer still, and the alarm manifests in the form of Zaylers clustering casually by the rail. Only casually, because no one would admit any concern for the fate of a rubbery man. The rubbery man surfaces. It mounts the steps to the quay, with the ceremonious delight of a vicar mounting the steps to a pulpit. It holds a sphinx stone chess piece aloft in its hand. Principles, it wheezes. A sphinx stone chess piece? Did it go to the bottom of the Z? A minor piece. I believe you can sell chess pieces. At, uh... Whatever the place is called, I can't remember the name. At Port Cecil. I remember there's an option for selling chess pieces, and I was wondering, like, how do you get the chess pieces? I think that's it. Let's get a port report. Pick over the encampment. Gained one fragment, that's it. Okay, so does that show up as... What? A curiosity? Do I actually have a chess piece? Yet, or what? I don't see it. Hmm. Perhaps I should speak to him. I can actually preposition it now. Not going to. Okay. I should spend some of my secrets, too. I've got a lot of them. How are my hearts doing? 42? Alright, let's see what happens. I gained a terror. End hearts. What the hell is it even saying? Fadur? Fliff your half on the f What? <laughs> the outcast has Gnostic secrets of profound culinary import to impart. Even its lesser revelations are enough to touch your dreams with a dread of drowning. Perhaps fortunately, it gets so excited when it talks about the greater revelations that you don't have any idea what the hell it's on about. Okay. What about you? Veils? What are my veils? Oh yeah, the veils are the things I'm terrible at. Now, let's keep going with mirrors. I like having one thing that I'm really, really good at. There we go. Alright, um, I really want to head down to the Isle of Cats right now. Since that is where I'm going next. But, I know from experience that if I do that, this episode is going to become like 25 million hours long, so I should probably just stop here. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, I'm going to go down to the Isle of Cats and see what's going on with the Red Honey Trade.